Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest wanted. The quest requirements are that you will need to have at least 32 quest points, recruitment drive, priest in peril, the lost tribe, and rune mysteries. There are no stat requirements, and the items that are needed are just a slayer gem, molten glass, one law rune, and 20 rune or pure essence. For the recommended items is about one or two stamina potions, weight reducing armor because we will need to run a lot during this quest, and maybe also some food, armor and weapon to kill three monsters of around combat 40. For the teleports, those are a lot. The ones that are in brackets, you don't need to bring them along, but to speed things up, I'm going to bring three teleports to Felador Park, with an additional three teleports to Felador. And if you have not yet completed or started the Enter the Abyss minigame, you'll also need to bring along one teleport to Edgefell. For the regular teleports, one to Varak, one to Felador, one to Cannabis, and one to any essence mine. I will be using a Necklace of Passage, and then one after the quest is completed. And also, during this quest, we will need to go to 5 out of 18 random places around Gilanor. All the 18 places combined, you will need to have a teleportation method 2. 1 to Musa Point, 1 to Yanil, I will be using the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport, 1 to the Wizard's Tower, 1 to the Dorgish Khan Mine, 1 to Brimhaven, 1 to the Champions Guild, 1 to Castle Wars, 1 to the Grand Tree, 1 to Canafis, 2 to the Ardoin Market, 1 to El Carrit Ali Morsain, 1 to Raleka, 1 to the Lumbridge Swamp Caves, 1 to the Goblin Village, and 1 to McGruber's Wood, as well as 1 to Drainer Village, and 1 to the Observatory. Alright, when you think you have all your necessary teleports, let's start to certification here in Feldor Park and select option 1 for times. And yeah, when there are only two options available, you can just kill the conversation by walking away and make your way to Sir Amic Vase. He's located on the third floor of the western part of the Felador Castle. the western tower and here we'll find ceramic vase. Talk to him and select option 3. After this conversation is over we will need to return to certification so let's run or teleport back to Feldor Park. Let's talk to him and select option 1. Right, after the conversation is over, let's return to a ceramic face. Let's talk to him and select option 3. And after this conversation is over, we will need to go back to certification. So let's return to Feldor Park. Let's talk to certification and select option 1 once again. Then select option 2 to have one made. And then option 1. And then you will have a comorb in your inventory. 
right click on it and use contact and then select option 1. Right, after this long conversation is over, we will need to go to Varrock. No, we will actually need to go to the Mage of Zamorak, but if you haven't started the Enter the Abyss mini quest, you'll first need to go to Edgeville, talk to him over there, and then teleport to Varrock to talk to him. While we are here in Varrock, we'll first need to go to the bank to unnote our 20 rune or pure essence. So this kind of sucks, I'm gonna take a picture of my current inventory. So I don't lose it. So here at the bank, let's try to grab our 20 essence. Uh, how many spaces do I need? Eight. Damn. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Be sure to bring along at least one Valdor teleport. Once you have your 20 unnoted rune or pure essence, let's run to the Mage of Zamorak. Talk to the Mage of Zamorak and select option 2. And he will ask for 20 rune or pure essence. After this conversation is over, we will need to talk to him again and select option 2 once again. And he will give you the information. Next, we will need to go to Taverly Dungeon. So first, we will need to go to... I think Felador is the best teleport. Unless your house is in Taverly. So in the bank, I'm gonna take my taken picture and I'm gonna grab all my teleports back. Also, in the bank, you will need to prepare to fight the first combat 33 Black Knight. So what I've missed is... Alright, I have brought all my teleports along. Now I just need to have some food, armor and weapon to kill the combat 33. Nothing much needed, I suppose. Also, if you are less than combat 40, be sure to bring along a antidote because there are combat 20 poisonous spiders in that area. So, when you think you are ready, let's go to the Tavoli dungeon. In the Tavoli dungeon, you'll need to go to the Black Knight's base. Just south of the Hill Giants, south of the Lesser Demons. So south of the magic axis, south of the poison scorpions, and then also south of the hill giants, there you'll find the black knight's base. There you'll find two rooms. We will need to go to the southern one. Go through the door, enter the southern area, and then go to the western room. There, you should find a lord with a difficult name, Aquarius. Talk to him. Next, he won't help you because he won't put his man's life in danger. So what we'll need to do is attack any black knight. 
and kill him. Alright, once you've killed one Black Knight, he will talk to you about sparing Ben's life. Alright, back in the room, let's talk to Daquarius, and he will now give you the information that you need. After this conversation is over, we will need to make our way to Cannabis. Upon entry of Cannabis, you will see a short cutscene of Savant talking to you for a very long time. Just keep pressing the spacebar. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. If you've accidentally killed the conversation, just exit Canvas once again and re entry will trigger Savant talking to you once again. Just keep pressing the spacebar until the lecture is over. Alright, once the lecture is over, let's enter Canvas and left click on the Comorb to scan. Let's be sure to enter Canvas properly, left click on your Comorb to scan and the first cutscene of many will start. After this conversation is over, we will need to go to 5 random locations out of 18, depending on which random item you have received from that area. And in those 5 out of 18 locations, we will need to scan the Cormorp to spawn Solus. Just an FYI, at the 5th location, Solus will spawn the second Black Knight of Combat 33, which you will need to kill. Once the cutscene is over, you will receive one random item. I'll put a picture on the screen of all the 18 items and the 18 locations where you will need to go to. So, my first item is a fake beard, so I will be going to Ali Morrison in El Carrot. Just go to your 5 locations, scan the Comorb, spawn Solos 5 times, and that will be the end of this quest basically. I'll see you back in, I don't know, 10 minutes or so.
What the fuck? This is identical to my other quest guide of two years ago. Where the fuck are we?
Alright, this is scan number 5, so he should be spawning another black knight. Oh, that's a lot of crap here. Alright, the final item. 20 noted essence, this is the final item, finally. This means you've basically completed this quest. We will now need to make our way to any essence mine, so... Our doin or necklace of passage doesn't really matter. But beware, once you enter the essence mine, a cutscene will occur and you will need to fight the combat 40, around combat 40, boss Solus Adamus just so that you are not unprepared. Alright, once Solus Delegar has been defeated, you will grab his hat, so be sure to have at least one empty inventory slot before he is dead. And once we have the hat, we will simply need to show this to... Oh my god, stop talking, Seventh. We need to show this to Ceramic Vase to complete our quest. Where do you take me? Alright, let's teleport to Felador to complete our quest. Now, because you have completed the Wandered quest, you are now officially a White Knight, but your rank is currently Novice. And you will be able to gain ranks depending on how many Black Knights you have killed, and you will lose ranks depending on how many White Knights you have killed. Dude, where is the dude? Oh, here. Alright, let's talk to Ceramic Vase, let's get our 5000 Slayer experience. So, once you go here on the eastern part of the White Knight Castle, up these stairs you will find Sir Vivian from the Knight's Sword Quest. If you talk to him, he will show you the armory, if you select option 1. Because you are a novice, the only thing that you're able to buy currently is a white chainmail and a white body, because you currently have 100 Black Knight kills. Solus is apparently worth 100 Black Knights. You will need to kill 1200 more Black Knights to be able to buy the White to Age Sword from Surviving, which is a requirement for the Falador Elite Diary. Alright, this was my quick guide, I don't really think so quick, of the Wanted Quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh boy.